Hey, Juliana. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing great. What are you up to? I'm about to head over to the Johnson to check out a student art exhibit. What's the Johnson? The Johnson is our local art museum, and my favorite part about it is that we feature a lot of student work, and they're doing exhibitions once a week now, so there's a lot of change. Now, before you got into doing this today, tell me, how did your day start? Well, today I started my morning super early. I got up at 7 a.m. because I have an 8 a.m. art studio for the first time. Whoa. So I got up and got right to sculpting in the foundry for my sculpture studio. Now, what did you eat for breakfast? Okay, that's always kind of a grab-and-go situation for me. <laughs> I had a smoothie on the go because I get up and roll out of bed almost with no energy. <laughs> now, are you a late owl or an early bird? 100% a late owl. What's the one thing you cannot leave your dorm without? Definitely my water bottle. I had to bring it with me today, too. Um, I can't like spend any time without it, really. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do on campus? My favorite thing, when it's a little bit warmer than this current situation that we're in, um, I just love to go to the slope and like sit out in any quad. My friends have hammocks that you can hang up between trees, so I just like sitting in the sun for as long as I can. What's the biggest lesson you've learned thus far in your life? I've moved a lot, so I think the biggest lesson I've learned is to be adaptable and open-minded. I think it's a mindset that is kind of a game changer. What's the most underrated part about being a college student? So I think it's actually kind of the busyness that sometimes I definitely complain about, but I think having so much to do all the time is kind of a pro. I think it's something that's a little bit underrated. Now, you chose to come to Cornell. Why? Well, Cornell has a great architecture program, so that's what first drew me to it. And then I came to visit for diversity hosting, actually. And I got to meet some people in the architecture program, and I got to hang out with someone for literally four hours. And that kind of like showed me the culture of the school, and it was something that I wanted to be a part of. Sounds like a great time. Do you remember when you got admitted? Yes, it was actually a very funny story. What um, happened? So I had an art show that day for my high school like art class and I avoided looking at my email all day because I was really scared and everyone who knew that I was applying was asking me, are you coming in? Are you like going to open your admissions? Um, I avoided all those questions and then when I got home at like 10 p.m. I ran to my room by myself and then when I saw that I got in, I screamed and my parents and my like all my family came running in. <laughs> Sounds like a great time. Tell me, what does your day usually look like? Well, that kind of depends. So I vary a lot. I get up early in the mornings because I either have my sculpture studio or I have work at the IT desk. And then a lot of it is kind of walking from like the North Campus area over to Central Campus. I spend a lot of time in Milstein and then go home. Um, I cook dinner together with my roommates every single day. And then we always kind of have a little bit of couch time is what I think to call it, where we just sit down and kind of debrief everyone's day. Sounds like an awesome roommate. Oh my goodness. Now, how does your day usually end? My day usually ends, I guess, with that kind of couch time. After we're done with, like, eating dinner, we kind of sit and debrief everything. And, um, yeah, I think then just get ready for bed, do some work, obviously. Since I am a night owl, the days kind of end a little bit late. <laughs> now, what's a question you wish people would ask you less? I think... So it's going to be a shout-out to my dad, because my dad asked me a lot of these questions. So shout-out, Gabriel. Um, I don't love when people ask me for, like, my top rankings, like, your top three favorite foods, your, your five favorite things. I'm just indecisive, and I feel like I'm really contextual, so I, I'm bad at rating. <laughs> What's the one question that you wish people would ask you more? Hmm. I think... Um, I wish more people asked me to show them pictures of my dog. I really like doing that. So, um, yeah, I feel like I have a lot of content to share and I'm ready to give it out. <laughs> <laughs> now, where are you from? I'm from Caracas, Venezuela, and since then I've moved around a lot. And so my family's located in Los Angeles area right now. Where's a good place to eat in L.A., in Los Angeles, and in Caracas? Oh, oof, oof, great question. So... In L.A., I love to go to Din Tai Fung. It's one of my favorite restaurants in the world. I love soup dumplings. And then I say back home, um, there's this place called La Monserratina. And so that, when I was little um, and I used to go to that restaurant, I used to eat these spicy chistorras. And that's where kind of my love for spice develops. So it's all things so at one restaurant back home. Where's your favorite place to eat on campus? Oh, on campus, I recently discovered the terrace. I only found out about it last semester, but it's so good and it's always open now. So I definitely say that that's my new go-to. How many times did you hit the snooze button this morning? Oof, oof. <laughs> Probably at least three since I, I'm, again, I'm a, like a late night person and I have 8 a.m. this semester. So it's a little bit of a, an adjustment. What was the hardest adjustment to make when you first got to Cornell? 
I think just managing workload and personal life. So like what I was saying before about what feels underrated is just being so busy. And I think there's so much to take advantage of, but so much to do. So I think that was like a fine balance of how much fun I want to have, how much work I want to produce. So I think now I'm a little bit more used to the rhythm. Now, what keeps you going? Oof, my friends and my family, as cheesy as that may sound, I feel like it's like the work hard, play hard mentality of um, just everything I do, my family and my friends are going to be there to share it with me. So I really appreciate that. What would you say to your high school self? That the effort was worth it and that, you know, everything, like everything that I did up to that point was worth it and to see where I am now. <laughs> what are you most excited about right now? Right now, I think my sculpture project is something that I'm really looking forward to. We just started a new one and I'm making kind of basically like a contraption for my feet. So I'm just really excited to develop that a little further. <laughs> What's the best advice you've ever gotten? I think I'd have to say that someone else's success does not really demerit your own. So we can all kind of succeed and be happy and like thrive together. It's not a competition. What do you do during your downtime? My downtime, well, um, my roommates actually, we do a lot of things together, a lot of kind of, I think crafty things, but also we love to play rummy with cards. Um, we get really competitive and we have kind of this whole scoreboard up <laughs> from last semester. I love rummy. Now, at this point, can you tell us in three words, describe your family in three words. Three words, um, definitely, Loud, like party people is what I'd say. <laughs> very compassionate and very giving. Describe yourself in three words. I think going back to some previous answers, definitely open-minded, adaptable, and empathetic, probably. In one word, describe your music taste. <gasps> funky, definitely funky. Nice. So we got to stop here because we have a speed round. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Okay. What's your nickname? Hooli. Favorite song? Ah, ooh, ooh, uh... Window by <laughs> Saluzzi. Uh, milk first or cereal first? Cereal for sure. Tea or coffee? Tea. What arrived first, the chicken or the egg? The chicken, for some reason. Gut feeling. <laughs> Name your favorite movie or movie character. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, I really love Lady Bird. What do you do to get out of a funk? Mm, go have fun. Be with friends. If you had a superpower, what would it be? <gasps> Teletransportation. Now we're out of speed round, but I do have a couple more questions. Yes, please, Sammy. What's been your moment so far, your favorite moment so far as a college student? I think it's really been about friendships and seeing like how at first you get this kind of overwhelming sense of like people and new things. And then as you go, you start solidifying who your people are. And so then that's been, I think one of my favorite experiences here. Now at this point in your life, tell me, what are you most looking forward to? Well, I'm really looking forward to the end of life as the pandemic, I guess. I'm, even though I'm very grateful to be able to appreciate life still during a pandemic, I'm really looking forward to being like a big mass of people, like something like a concert would be great. Juliana, it's always great to catch up with you. Thank you so much for your time. We gotta catch up soon. Oh, I would love to. All right, I'll check you later. Okay, thank you, have a good day. You too.